Some shocking allegations have been brought forward by the estranged cousin of uh, the late Barry Sherman. Speaking to the Toronto Star and the UK's Daily Mail TV, Carrie Winter says he believes the billionaire philanthropist murdered his wife. And that's because he says Sherman once asked him for help finding a hitman to kill her. Now, none of these allegations have been verified by City News or by police. And we did reach out to the Sherman family as well as winter for comment but did not receive a response and out of the blue he looked at me and said you know sometimes i want to kill that he says could you do it i said oh come on baby you're not going to take out mother of your kids he says why not and he was dead serious that's Kerry Winter speaking exclusively to Daily Mail TV about why he believes the Sherman's death was a murder-suicide. In an interview with the British tabloid, the 56-year-old claims his pharmaceutical tycoon cousin had once asked him in the 90s to help hatch a plan to kill his wife, but eventually decided not to go through with it. I made a call knowing that my friend Louis could easily set it up because he was a quasi-gangster and he knew a lot of bad people. And he said, the body will go missing. There's not going to be a bullet in the back of the head or a car exploding. She's going to go missing. And I said, Barry, Louis wants you to know that if we push this button, there's no turning back. Ah, I've changed my mind. You know, you're right. Taking out my wife. You know, it's not a good thing. Again, the claims have not been independently verified by City News, and attempts to reach Winter today were unsuccessful. Sherman and his wife, Honey, were found dead in their North York home mid-December. Police reporting they had both died of ligature neck compression. Early on, police sources had leaked reports to the media that the deaths were being investigated as a murder-suicide, a claim the couple's children strongly rejected, hiring their own private investigators. We've had to navigate through a terrifying maze of non-information and unfounded speculation, all while trying to support each other emotionally. Last week, police announced the deaths were being treated as homicides, but Winter says he doesn't believe the couple was targeted. He hated her. That's the truth. Barry Sherman hated honey. So I said, you know, Barry, you're so unhappy. You know, you can meet somebody else. And he said, no way. She's not getting half my money. He was adamant about that. I believe Barry killed her, freaked out and said, my God, what do I do now? Well, I know. We'll hold hands with ropes around her neck or belts and we'll go by the swimming pool. And it'll look like we did it together. So there's no doubt in my mind he killed her. As for why he's speaking now, Winter says he's hoping to clear his name as an obvious suspect, given his strained relationship with the family. Just weeks before their deaths, a court had ruled against him in a lawsuit over ownership of the family pharmacy company, Apotex. A judge ordered Winter to pay Sherman $300,000 in court fees. Now, from the beginning, this case has been under the spotlight, a high-profile uh, couple with money and influence, uh, the investigation plagued by police leaks to the media, and uh, a family outraged by the insinuations being made about their loved ones. So how does a public allegation like this impact this kind of homicide investigation? Well, we pose that question to a former Toronto police officer. You have a, you have this tendency where you just got to shut everything out and just look at the evidence and nothing else. The police have their own methodical way of doing an investigation, and it's almost just like white noise in the background. They're going to do their, uh, you know, interview all the witnesses on their own time, come to their conclusions at their own time, and they're not going to hurry an investigation for any reason. They're just going to see where the evidence leads them. When you're interviewing someone or taking a statement from someone, it's not what they say, it's sometimes what they don't say, or you look at the convenience of it, and uh, or the timing of the, uh, the statements. You know, like I say, it could have been brought out uh, six weeks ago. Now, police would not comment on Winter's allegations or confirm whether or not they have plans to interview him. They say that's not something they would ever reveal as part of an ongoing investigation.